We actually got an extraction here, and that's nice. I think we're gonna play as the sniper and be fast support. It's gonna be a very interesting map. It's gonna be the garage map, so let's do this. It's gonna be fun. Or at least I hope it will be fun. It might be tricky if it's not fun. So, sniper, a couple of rookies, against prestige and level 25. Yeah, I'm very happy this is not a ranked game. It's kind of interesting to see that there are two insertion points as well, so... It's going to be interesting to see if this is a compound or how this game really looks. Okay, so we are gonna move up to... I think this place is actually based on El Yuri and El Polito's garage, and if that's the case, I'm very happy because I know that area fairly well. This is not a good vantage point. Yeah, that's one of the problems with El Yuri and El Polito's garage. There aren't that many decent vantage points. But we need to advance and see about getting a nice vantage point where we can provide fire support for our team. And I think the house ahead should be a decently fortified location. Idiots on voice chat. Yo, we need to place down know. mines so that we cover our six here. And let's see here. So far, so nothing. There's an enemy scout drone very close to us now. Yeah, I got the guy. Man down, man down. Crap. I know there's one in the house. It's just straight across, and I know he's most likely know I'm here. He's gone. We got the medic drone. Nice. Revive prevented. So we don't have any beat on the guy in that... Hey, watch out. In that house yet. But I think they fr just threw a grenade at... Can't go down. We got a guy. It wasn't the medic we got, however, so... But we got the sniper and the scout, so we should be in a better position than we used to be. Let's see, was there movement in that area? No. I should try and fetch my teammate now. What are you doing here? Why am I the one going down and fetching the guy who's down? I mean, if he's standing in there watching my back, then he might as well have gone for the revive, but hey. And that's going to be... Placing a mine for our Too friends. annoying about that in that regard. Roof! They're on the roof. We need to get a beat on the guy. But we don't have that much cover here. Yeah, I got the guy.
Come on. We got him. Nice work. Get the HVT out of here. I thought some one of us actually got the HVT, but apparently not. Ah, wait, there he is. Leg it. He's coming for you. Get the hostage out of here. Well done. Target is safe and sound. Target extracted. Nice work. So now is our time to actually defend the hostages. Let's see if we can... Oh god, that guy is annoying. <sighs> Let's just go with the same thing we went earlier. We have a Pathfinder, we have a Recruit, and we have Artillery. Now... <sighs> why does people act that way on the internet? You know, if people could just behave on the internet, I would have less problem with... The internet. The but people can't behave on the internet because people are people. Oh well, most my team is doing well at least, so I'm not going to raise any drama about that. However, I am going to take up a forward position here. I'm not going to be hanging hanging behind. I need to take a position here. However, oh, apparently I am not allowed to be that advanced. I mean, that's why I should be allowed to to push forward. I mean, I should be allowed to conduct the defense in the manner I find the best. And I mean, restricting me in that is just silly. We're gonna place down a couple of mines here. Fuck, I'm made. Yeah, I'm made. But I know where the guy is now. And I got hit by the enemy sniper. There's no other way I could have died that quickly other than a sniper. And I would have been able to prevent it if I hadn't done a mad dash for the perimeter first. But hey... I have to wonder why the game doesn't allow me to secure my perimeter. Because those buildings are part of the perimeter. I want to be able to be there and deny the enemy access to cover. And, I mean, the area we as the defenders must stay within is pretty fucking silly. If you notice... I'm gonna throw off the map here. If you notice this area here, it's right on the perimeter. We have, unless we have a base of fire in the buildings here, it's gonna be very difficult for us to stop an enemy going for this objective. And I can't really imagine why they would make that decision. It's a bad decision. If they're gonna restrict us, then I feel they should do so at least be, let the entire thing be more lenient because right now they are in a position where I cannot oh we got one with the mines but we also got one of our own with the mine I don't really know how that happened but I think it was that when the enemy detonated the mine I have never seen a friendly fire incident in this game and it's kind of silly to see that Apparently we got another guy with the mines, so we got two people while we're actually down. That's... <laughs> I can't complain about it. Well, I think that for the next session I'm going to be a bit more aggressive. And we're gonna play the assassin. 
the assassin can only be tagged in close quarters. So, and I want to play more aggressively here. So we're gonna use the PDR and wait until. Yeah, I don't actually do not want that appearance. So we're gonna put. Uh, I don't like the preset one appearance either, for that matter. So we'll just go with this. We don't have any real real time to change it anyway. So we're gonna go with the highly silly Assassin's Creed skin. All right, you are getting muted, my friend. You are just gonna get muted. Alright, so our role as an assassin here is basically to take terrain and make sure that we get inside the enemy perimeter as quickly as possible so we can shoot them close up. Uh, no, I chose the wrong perk. I should have chosen the perk that allows me to see mines. Now, I don't have to worry about that scout drone. Um, because uh, I can't be tagged by the enemy. That is basically my little super skill here. So we are gonna wait for our stamina to come back and I should really go for the other objective. I should go for number two. I should go for number one. And since I have this wondrous stamina pool, and I, we just established the enemy cannot uh, break the perimeter, I should simply just go here. I mean, there's no, there's very little the enemy can do if I do a flanking attack in this matter. I mean, I could just go for number one. And that's what I'm gonna do. What the fuck is that guy doing? Why is he so annoying? I mean... Dude, shut the fuck up. Enemy drone airborne. Thank you. Okay, we're at the perimeter. The problem that face me now is, should we try and make it inside, or... Yeah, I have you now. Tango down. That's one. Let's move for it. Ah, crap. Like I said, I should have gotten the thing that allows me to spot mines, but... Oh, come on. Toggle scoreboard. And mute. There we go. Now he should be significantly less annoying. But I want to put it to the record that we actually did a decent job until we walked straight into that mine. But I should have foreseen the mine there and I should have picked the skill that allows me to see the mines. Let's see if my mates can salvage this. Hopefully they can. But they have two minutes to do it and they're not even in positions around the perimeter yet. And another one just ate the mine. We're not coordinated in the least here. I mean, this sniper is far, simply far too, I, I don't see how he can get a bead on anyone from where he is right now, but maybe he's, he seems to be trying to get over to me and the other guy. Uh, however, the enemy are pretty much on point with their revives, which I can't really blame them for because they are all prestige players, say, for this game. And that very f mere fact is 
<sighs> Let's see, what is the Enforcer doing? At least he's trying to sneak up, but he just got wasted by a mine him too. He got fired on, but... The thing is, they gotta protect these guys. Uh, they have a hostage and two of our downed teammates down in this location. So, they have some kind of... They need to have overwatch of this location. If they don't, I'm going to be very surprised. It's coming up behind you. The problem for the sniper is that he's not really equipped to handle a battle like this. Yeah, he's engaged for two. He did not have a prayer. I'm gonna stay here, see if we can't get some more decent extraction games. I did well at any rate. My score is adequate. We can't play ranked, however, because it appears that uh, I don't get any matches on ranked, really. So, next game has begun. Uplink Urban Incursion Map. And we gotta disconnect the first thing that happened. Don't worry, they usually get replaced soon enough. Uh, Assassin, Tech... Tank. And we are waiting for the guy to be replaced. Meanwhile, we can see if we have any time to fix the appearance here. This can be done with pretty much any one of the operators in Ghost War. You have very nice um, opportunities to simply just dress them up the way you want. The problem is I don't have a vision for how my assassin is going to look. So we're going to start off ba with the basic stuff basically. It will give him, uh, or rather her, multicam black. Uh, we can give a molly harness that is gray. Nah, it's gonna be black too. Couple of cry precision pants in multicam black. Try and get rid of the. Ah, never mind. We didn't manage to get the. We didn't manage to get the stuff done in time, but we got the same map and same everything, basically. So let's see here. We could play the Medic. The Medic is always a decent choice. So I think we're gonna go with the Medic. And the thing about the Medic that I find amusing is that the Medic's gear is based on... is based completely on stuff I have at home. I have every single part of the Medic's outfit. Uh, at home and at some point I will most likely dress up in that matter and just go play ourselves with it because that is fun all right so this game mode differs a bit from the previous one instead of rescuing the hostage we need, just need to access the uplink and prevent our enemy from doing the same We gotta beat on one of the guys. Enemy drone. Watch it. They've got me. Placing a mine right here. Scout drone destroyed. Nice. We were compromised, and if you're compromised, you can just as well just engage the drone. I'm planting a mine here. 
one of our guys is currently moving up and securing the access point. I'm going to see if I can... Oh crap, I'm taking fire. We are not going to duel with that guy. Tango, southwest. About 100 meters. We have mines as well, so we're gonna pl actually place one down here. Wait, let me place and mine. enter the building. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Ah, crap! Our guy is getting torn apart here. I'm going to exfiltrate this way and try and link up with my assassin. Also, since I'm the medic, it's basically falls on me to try and re revive these guys. But they have close support, so trying that was kind of futile. Oh, fire. crap. He's close to your location, assassin. Very close to your location. What is that assassin doing, really? Is he AFK? Because I can't really imagine why the assassin would play it like this. Because the assassin had a perfect, f down. A perfect uh, flanking uh, opportunity there, and he didn't do anything about it. Access point established. I don't usually complain about my teammates, but in that particular case, I actually feel it might be warranted to do so. Let's see here, we could pick... The disruptor is pretty nice. Same thing with the tech. But I think we're just gonna pick the medic again. Oh, come on, I should have gotten that drone by. This is ridiculous. Also, why are my teammates hanging back this much? We should get some more ammunition for the gun. There we go, drone destroyed. We might as well just restock again. This is not good. We're far too exposed here. I draw them out, guys. I'm gonna try and hit them. Um, anybody. Even a grenade is fine. Just try to draw them out. Enemy drone. Watch it. The problem with that strategy, my friend, is that they're not gonna fall for it. Yo, I'm placing a mine over here. Enemy drone overhead. 
We're inside and should Access be clear. I wonder why the hell the enemy, or, or rather why two of our guys decide to be so fucking far away from the objective. Because right now they're not doing anyone any good. And I don't have a visual on the objective either, for that matter. I, I, I'm i close, but that's not the same thing as having an actual visual on it. Enemy drone airborne. Scout, north, 120 meters. That drone was launched far too close to me. I could advance to the rock, but it wouldn't do me that much good, really. Uh, I would be in far too much danger to get shot from above the cliff, and I want to avoid that. Creative use of the camera, guys. That's how you do it. Down over here. Okay, so one of our guys is pinned. The problem is now I need to expose myself in order to revive the guy. And of course they place a mine there. I wonder what the assassin is doing. Because he really should, yeah, thank god, he seems to be actually on the level about going and pick me up. Or not. I mean, we know that two of the tangos are engaging our sniper. Uh, so it should really be a no-brainer for the assassin to just go pick me up. And, you know, use the access point and win the game. But apparently that is not the way. Yeah, I had better Ghost 4 games than that, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's not really much use complaining about it. But I am going to get out of the lobby. Because the way Ghost wor works is that you keep playing against the same people. And usually you do not switch teams. And I'm going to be perfectly... Perfectly. No, I don't want to purchase that pack. Thank you. Uh, I want to upgrade my medic. Thank you. Now, for you new to the game, i shown off a little bit on how you can build your character. And I'm actually going to do that. We're going to switch to the preset I started to build here. And there's a lot of things you can do. So, preset, edit, and we are going to get rid of this, of this ghillie suit. We don't want the ghillie suit. Uh, instead, we uh, we have the cry, we have the molly harness, we had the cry precision pants. There's a lot of stuff to choose from, as you can see. And like I said, no ghillie suit. 
then we have the accessories we can have the eyewear we can go with the face wear a uh, bandana so we look a bit more swat like and a carbon helmet also that in multicam black so the assassin is pretty much going to be a very uh, going to have a lot of uh, you know like swat gear and stuff like that i don't think i have a character like that uh, at least i'm not sure uh, or we could just go for the more freestyle style with it all. But I haven't actually decided yet, so we're going to go with a flag. We might as well go for a... Let's see here. Let's go with a New Zealand flag for these guy, this guy. And let's go with the backpack, a standard issue drone pack. Did it? No, it did not change. Nice. So our assassin is pretty much dressed all in multicam, and of course we need a fingerless. Yeah, that looks good. And if you want to have an overview of how my characters currently look, we have here the the point man, the tank. The tank is basically just a joke. I decked her out in Ubisoft gear. We have the tech, we have the assassin that you just saw, we have the disruptor, and we have the predator. We have the sniper, the ranger, enforcer, sentinel, and pathfinder. So this is basically just me showing off the way you can customize your character in Ghost Recon Wildlands because there are a lot of good options on how you can customize your character each tailored to your specific taste so what we're gonna do is actually we unlock the PP19 so we are gonna edit that a bit we're gonna change out the scope use the stock iron sights and we're gonna give it a nice coyote brown paint job to fit the rest of the gear I'm going to give start searching for a ranked game while I debate with myself wherever my assassin really should look like that. I'm not actually convinced because I already have a lot of operators with the cry stuff. So I think I'm actually going to switch out. It would be nice to just, you know, have the tank top, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we also have a lot of the polo shirt, so we, we're gonna go with the long, with the short sleeve shirt here and make that one black and then p in the terms of pants, not really jeans, but we could go with something entirely different like the cargo C in green. As for the face wear, we could you just go for something like this instead. It doesn't look as silly. And we could go with, you know, something like... No, we're not going to use the dead sick thingy. Uh, we, no, none of that. Uh, let's see here. No headset either for that matter. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. Welcome new operators to the stream. So, basically, this is just me fooling around waiting for a ranked game, so... I, I'm gonna switch out the um, eye protection as well. And give her a bit more hair. We can give her the shaggy hair and make it blonde. That looks remotely better. Uh, and... Switch out the eyewear for a pair of Oakley SI straight. What do you think about that? Yes, no, maybe. I'm insane. Yeah, we all know that we are basically choosing the I am insane option here. So we're gonna switch to this one just being plain black. And there's our assassin. Uh, apparently the activity is so low, we barely have any waiting time registered here. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why I'm typing the answer to you, but I like seeing the chat on screen, so that might be why. Uh, besides, it's easier for people to follow it that way, so... However, the addition of that was not very nice. If I wasn't in an actual game, I would just quit Ghost War and show you the... Oh yeah, you can get the Galil as well. Your favorite assault rifle, AVM Perry, the Galil. So do you think we got actually gonna get a game anytime soon? Because I'm actually a bit doubtful about that. Because right now it doesn't really seem like the game is very keen on giving us one. Come on. I've been waiting here for four minutes now. I know Ghost War doesn't have a lot of players, especially maybe not during a Saturday morning. But I still think that I should actually have gotten a game by now. So let, let's just go quick play. Apparently, we do not get to sacrifice our rank to the gods of randomness just yet. I can actually, just just for your good measure, we're going to exit and we're going to exit the main menu. Now, usually when I try to exit to the main menu, the game crashes. So I might have to restart the entire game, but I actually do want to show this off. Yeah, the game crashed. Who could have known? So you'll have to pardon this for a moment while I'll restart the game. Uh, apparently, going from Ghost War to the main menu is not something this game wants me to do. So, if you please just wait until I can successfully restart the game. Oh, I, I had to close that thing down and it saves my achievements and... I'm restarting the game as we speak. It's gonna take a little while, but since I got my SSD, the we are hopefully going to see it go a bit quicker than it usually does. So it's booting up now. And it's booting up. And you're gonna like this one, Perry. Because it's kinda glorious. Press any key. Which one is the any key? And select campaign save. We'll, we'll just go with our main campaign save. So we'll get into this quicker and can return to the ghost war so last patch that was added this first day will just launch the entire thing because we're not gonna stay that very long anyway uh, last patch, the weapons from the Fallen Ghosts DLC that you can get in, for example, the Season Pass or Standalone, was added into the main campaign. However, they fucked it up. I can't say it any other way, because that is what they did. 
they fucked it up. What happened was that some of the guns that are in the DLC, like the 50 cal sniper rifle and the crossbow, I don't know if they fixed this. So, first of all, we are gonna change my costume, because I don't like what I'm currently wearing. Loadout. Oh, come on. Loadout, edit apprentice, uh, appearance, and then we can switch to one of our more regular outfits. Now, as you can see here, we have a long list of weapons in single player, including the R4. And the R4 in Fallen Ghost is a pretty neat piece of gun. But if you go to magazine, you can see that it says that it has a large 50 round magazine and it doesn't. And uh, you have um, no magnification sights to this thing. And there doesn't seem to be that much difference between the standard barrel and the long barrel. In fact, they seem quite similar this is one of the fuck ups that was was made now we can we can just give it a paint preset but there is suspicion that ubisoft pretty much instead of just importing the actual gun they cloned one of the weapons already in the main campaign and i don't really know why they would do that but as you can see firing it there's not really much problem with firing the actual gun It's a nice little toy to have in the campaign, so it's not the worst fuck-up they made. Now, we are gonna switch to... I'm gonna see if I can find it. I have ridiculously many weapons in this campaign. And yet, I don't have the weapons I actually want to use. So here's the PSG-1. Uh, it claims that this is a modern German semi-automatic sniper rifle. Now, last time I checked, the exact text was used for another weapon. Let's see if we can find that one. Yep. So if you select the G28 and you select the PSG1, you will notice that they have the exact same text. Now, I wouldn't actually mind this if it wasn't for the fact that the PSG1 is not really that modern, is it? Uh, the PSG-1 is adequate, but we're gonna switch to the 10-round magazine to so you can adequately be shown what uh, what this is all about, because we are gonna do something a bit tricky. At least here you have all the magnification scopes, so I'm gonna return to Ghost War once I've shown this off. Now we're gonna reload it. Pay attention to this. Did you see that? We're gonna do it again. Yeah. That is not remotely how you handle a PSG-1. Now, if we switch to the G28, and we might actually just simply... Uh, in fact, no, nah, never mind. We're not going to switch to G28. I'm just going to return to Ghost War because it makes me a bit depressing to talk about this because the community has been requesting for quite some time that we would be able to get the Ghost War weapons in the main campaign. Now we do. But they didn't do it all the way. I mean, I would have gladly waited for it. If, they, if that would have meant they adding it the proper way. So we're going to wait for, wait for Ghost War to boot up. And then we are going to jump into another game. And quick play. Because I'm not going to bet anything. Oh, we actually got a game pretty much at once. Or at least we got a lobby pretty much at once. So we have one level one player. Guess what team we ended up with? We are f facing a full prestige team with a level one, a level 23, and a prestige. 
I don't really understand what what is going on with this uh, with this matchmaking at times. I mean, how difficult can it be for them to balance out these ga us free who aren't prestige yet? I mean, can it really be that difficult to just I don't know move one or two of them and mix them around a bit. I don't know. I'm not a game designer. But we have here Elimination. Elimination is the third game mode you will see in Ghost War and it is currently. And of course one of our is ours disconnected. Now worst case scenario this means we all get returned to the lobby. I haven't really figured out when the game thinks you should be returned to the lobby yet. No, apparently starting a, starting this game was perfectly fine by them, but it's gonna try and find a replacement in the meantime. Now the forest station doesn't really live up to its name, the map has an awful lot of forest on it. So we are gonna try and flank right. The problem with us doing that is that we are going to be in a position where we are not going to be close to our teammates. So we, I'm going to calm down a bit with that. Drone destroyed. The Ranger is one of my favorite long range operators for the simple reason that the M14 is burst fire. You can get a hell of a lot of damage through that burst fire mode. So we got a replacement for our dear dropout, so that's nice. Uh, we are gonna make sure to try and minimize our exposure while moving through the open area here. But they know I'm on this flank. I've been compromised in that regard. Marking position now. Okay, so at least one enemy shooter is currently busy. Man down, man down. Ah, crap. One of the balancing things about the Ranger is that he has a very low ammunition supply, and that might come back to bite us in the ass. Right now we're just moving along the perimeter, trying to avoid being detected, and hopefully getting a... Yeah, we're last man standing now, with the team on the literal other side of the map. The enemy can now use the recon tower to try and flush me out, and that means it is more important for me to get a beat on the recon tower so I can actually put some fire down on it should I need to. The problem is that that requires me to expose myself. Recon tower is back online. Yeah, recon tower is available. But I'm gonna be notified if they're trying to use it. The enemy's gathering intel on Yeah, that, that they are. Sniper. Yeah, the enemy has our position, but they had that. We are not doing a good job here. <laughs> we did our best, but I could have done that a lot better. I mean, I could have done that a lot better. Now I... Seriously, I wish I knew some Borat quotes, but I, I haven't actually said Borat, so we're gonna do the only logical thing here. We're gonna Google some Borat quotes. So, let's see here. I'm not gonna pick the Ranger again. Let's just pick the Predator. 
Sadly, the Predator class does not mean we turn into the actual Predator, mind you. Right. Remember kids, smoking is bad and so is gambling with loot boxes. So we're gonna do the same maneuver we did last game. We're gonna flank and that might be the, a bad idea. Medic drone. We got it. We gotta move from cover to cover and try and take out the enemy. Are going loud. Hostiles are indeed going loud. So we're gonna stay in cover, move up. Roger on free right. That means we get to set up the welcome. problem is I don't have their exact position, so I don't know when to trigger the battle rage. Man down, man down. Ah, crap. Not good. Tango down. That's nice. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. They know I'm here now. Medic. Ah, crap. We're gonna go through the battle rage, see, punch it, and see if we can find anything to shoot. And something found us to shoot, so <laughs> I didn't actually consider the fact that it could be so close. I fucked it up. It started off well, but that was all it did. And now they have revived their mate. But my guys are moving up to take the position and one of them just got shot. Let's see if the point man can do any better. The recon tower is back online. Mine! Crap. Yeah, nice matchmaking, guys. I mean, the replacement we got was level 16, so. And we, like I said, we faced an entire prestige. So we're gonna leave this lobby and give ranked one last try. Still, the activity for ranked is very low, so there's not really much to do here. Hopefully, we will be placed in a ranked game soon enough, and I don't have to sit here and vamp to you. Yeah, I'm not really good at vamping, and 45 seconds later, and I am bored to tears. Because, simply put, this is getting really, really, really boring. And I mean, it's 12 o'clock on a Saturday, you would think that there would actually be some people around to play Ghost War Ranked, but apparently not around my actual rank. So there you have it. So, my stats are current rank league, best rank achieved gold 2, but this is ranked, one, ranked gold 1. 
So which one of these stats are actually accurate? I mean... My kill death ratio is at least better than my win loss ratio. We have a number, nice number of player revives here, and most picked perks are of course mirror mark. Most, most played classes is ranger with a kill death ratio of 1.5, sniper with a kill death ratio of 1.7, and scout with a kill death ratio of 1.2. Considering I picked the ranger for a whooping 70 rounds, that's actually not a bad. And I accidentally loaded a an external link without meaning to, so. All we can do now is pretty much wait, see if we can get that ranked game or not. I will be taking bets in chat on how long we are going to have to wait. If you win the bet, you win absolutely nothing because I do not wish to promote gambling. I mean, we've been here an hour now, and fuck it. I'm just gonna go for one last quick play, and once that is done, I'm gonna shut down the stream, because it's been an hour now, and we've been all over the place. I mean, we've discussed the Ghost War weapon bugs, we looked out the window and realized it's actually quite nice weather outside. In case you're wondering why I'm considering quitting the stream, that last... <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I mean, it's gonna be much, and interesting is the best I can say about it, because let's just pick the medic and go with it. We got a sentinel, we got a recruit. I mean, I like... Oh, wait, he picked the sniper. It would have been really hilarious if we had a... Prestige 2 who picked the recruit. But we, we actually have a good team composition going on here. I'm not gonna beret the team composition because that one is actually good. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. So now we have the PP-19 and as you might remember I actually chose the iron sights for it. Enemy drone overhead. Scout drone, 200 meters to the south. I can understand why the medic should pick the PP-19 over the other weapons, because it would appear that this weapon actually have a superior amount of both ammunition and magazine capacity. Southeast, point man by the way, by the base of the tower. Yeah, there are two on tower. Movement, Enemy base of the tower. I don't know if I'm imagining that, so I'm gonna need to zoom in a bit. It might be the it might be the vegetation. Shit, man down. Crap. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. We're getting flanked. Predator, east, two, 150 meters. Deploying drone. Where's our injured guy? Ah, crap, we didn't get it. Launching the drone there was folly. Okay, so the Predator there has lost his support from the tower. That means we are clear to move up at this point. Yeah, Predator is down. I've got a fix on me. Gonna hit the deck and keep moving. And put a mine on. Yeah, we're tagged by the point, man. Mind. I mined the Predator. Predator. 
The scout drone has been destroyed. I have to say, this is a good game so far. Nice. Let's see here. I want to have a visual on the dead guy, but apparently we didn't get it. So instead, I will be binocular support. Heads up. We got enemy activity. Coming for you, point man. Sorry, Sentinel. Oh. Man, if you shot Revive done. Suppressing the target. Enemy nice work, people. Great job. I mean, that outcome wasn't really expected, but we did well. So let's let's go the same. I mean, I like that game. I really like that game. I just wish we could have mo had more like it. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Roger that, we'll hunt them down. Medic drone, north. <laughs> I never understood why people are using the medic drones to scout, because all you do is you are taking away the most important tool in the medic's arsenal. The medic's arsenal is not to be used Enemy, uh, northwest, 170 meters. By the rock, by the rock. Downstairs. Please define rock. There are a great many rocks. I know, I've done that mistake myself, you know, doing a call out that's basically just the most common terrain feature. I know I was berated, berated once for once calling out by the tree when standing in a forest. Enemy drone airborne. Medic drone destroyed. Nice work. And I'm hit. I don't know where the enemy sniper is, but I would suspect he's by the base of the tower. Nicely done. Oh, you couldn't pick me up. Seriously? That looks painful. Thank you. One hundred and twenty five meters to the north, medic. So a bit dirtier, we are gonna go up and take the positions on top. And we are one hundred meters away from the target. Predator fl trying a flank. Yeah, he's using the medic bro now. I want to force him to abandon that. Where is the guy? Wait, wait. I uh, put my drone in one... Uh, ten seconds ago. Ah, crap! Fuck. I couldn't see the guy. I should have... I should have aborted when I did, realized I did not know where he was. 
And I didn't. I fucked up. That was... My team performs admirably, and I fuck up. That's basically the game so far. Because I relied on the guy having his eyes on the drone. But since he had his eyes on the drone, he must have seen that I was charging him. That's not a good combination, really. Still on the same position? Medic, drone in the air. Ah, crap. Enemy medic got both of us. They're gonna... T they have a chance of turning this around now. Nice. Our sniper seems to be really, really good. And our scout just got that guy, so the enemy... Watch it! Mine! 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 Fuck. I know there's a mine, but it's oh, fucking from behind. Thank you. I'll take the other guy. Ah, crap. From south. I'm on ghost. I think there might be a mine here too. I'm not actually sure. Oh, fuck. At least I got a revive on that guy. So nice. I think at least the other guy was re revived. Yeah, the Sentinel was revived. Uh, but the Sentinel seems to be a AFK. That ain't nothing. Oh, front. Pure front. Nice. We're on it. Good shot. The enemy's gathering in. Hello. On you, on you, Conrad. Take cover. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. One ah, left crap. remaining. Let's get this done. There's one remaining. Predator. Grenade, grenade. I'm on you, ghost. Nice. Enemy forces neutralized. Good job. Great job. That was a really nice game. Nice teamwork. That's a pretty nice ending to the game. I wonder if I can see what rank these guys are. No, I can't check that now. But I'm gonna abandon the lobby. And this has actually been a quite nice stream. So thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been really fun. And I hope you will tune in some other time as well. Catch you later. Hey, guys.